It's it's uh it's about eleven o'clock at night. You live at three eighteen Smith Street. Um, you know wh what happens? What why what what goes on when you get there? Um, I got there. I was kind of you know upset because my grandma boyfriend he smokes crack and he um from time to time he like to take you know stuff from us and sell it for drugs and stuff okay. like that. He did that, and I came in, and I had, me and my grandma was having a conversation or whatever. Um, wasn't nothing outrageous. Then I think I believe I cursed or something like that. And he looked at Just me. in your conversation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he looked at me like I was crazy. Mm. But then he said something to my grandma when I was leaving out the room. And I'm like, okay, who is he? I'm grown. And he don't pay no rent in here, and my grandma didn't say anything about me cursing, so why are you saying anything? Mm -hmm. And then I went on, like, okay, and then you steal my kid's stuff? Like, dude, why do you think you have me say so in my life? They're like anybody's fucking life yeah. at that case, at that matter. Right. Then um, it got a heated argument, whatever. Um, I believe he, um, I don't know, I don't know when the cops was called because we were few back and forth. Yeah, right. I went downstairs with my cousin, which is who I came with, and um, I was getting ready to you know, leave and stuff like that. But I didn't want to leave anything else there for him to steal. So as I'm leaving, I'm like, okay, let me get my TV and stuff like that. The officer like, oh, you're not taking nothing out of here. I'm like, okay, this is my stuff. And before I let him leave with my stuff and sell that for crack, mm -hmm. I want my I want my shit. So the officer's like, oh, get out of here. Da 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 da. Is that um, you know, just basically, oh, you can get out. Why are you still at your grandma house? You're this age and mad crazy stuff. So I'm like, okay, why are y'all talking to me like that? Like, well, hold on, wait, go back. So they were like criticizing you for living in your grandma's house? Yeah, like, yeah, they do you remember, really were. Do you remember explicitly the dialogue that they were saying or not? Um, or something like that. Oh, you, um, you're 26 years old. What are you still doing staying with your grandmother? Uh, you should be out getting your own stuff. Yeah, you got your own job and your own money. Let's get some of your own. You should take some of your own money and buy your own apartment or find yourself somewhere else to live. And it was going on. Yeah. So no idea what your situation was. And no. You presume that you should just. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, oh, we should stop doing drugs and drinking. Is this that? Other? I'm like, what, did, what the, the fuck are you talking about? No, I'm not doing none of that stuff. I'm fucking mad because this man keeps stealing my shit. Then you call the police. Like, I'm the one causing problems. Like, what the fuck? So did, um, did the police then order you to leave? Yeah, and I called a cab, got in the cab. As I got in the cab, I was still requesting my stuff out sure. the house. Sure. So... Um, as I'm mad, of course, I'm talking shit, like, fuck that, I'm not leaving my stuff here. Y'all gonna give me my shit, or we, we gonna have a problem. Then, next thing you know, oh yeah, you're making threats. I have my um, son with me. They grabbed my baby, gave my baby to the David Muse guy. They took my cell phones, gave them to him. They took my jewelry, my rings, and stuff like that, gave it to him. Um, then, um... They dragged me out of the car. They dragged me out of the uh, freaking taxi. Like, of course, now I'm mad because they put me in handcuffs. So I'm going crazy, freaking out, talking shit. They maced me. Put me in a cop car. I started going crazy in the air. They opened the door, slammed me to the ground. Maced me again. So you got, so, ma you got maced twice. Yeah. So then, um, of course, um, I'm mad because I'm getting arrested. Who the fuck, who, who wouldn't? I live here. My address on my ID say 318 Smith Street. That dude don't even got no ID, period. So why would I be getting arrested? And then y'all, like, it was crazy. I was sad because I had my kid with me too at the same time. So that was that. Then after um, they maced me and stuff like that, they called the ambulance. I'm thinking from the ambulance, you know, they're probably gonna mental hygiene arrest me or something like that. I was gonna stay at the hospital. No, I went to the hospital and you know, they gave me um, something for pain because you know, I was kind of bruised up from mm -hmm. them slamming me on the ground and stuff like that. Um, I sat there probably for an hour and a half to a two hours. I got to the jail probably at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, when I got there, 
you know, I was kind of still upset, but I was alert. And um, my face, I didn't have like no, my eyes wasn't black, nothing like that. No freaking knots, nothing. I was so, you, so you had like some bruising from being thrown on the ground? Yeah, but it wasn't visual, right. you know? So yeah. they took my picture or whatever, um, took me to the back, did, did in a little search or whatever. <clears throat> About time we um, got time to check in, um, the guy, of course, they're gonna give the, I can't take nothing in there on my person. So, whatever I come in with, they give it to the officers behind the desk. So, I had the papers from when I went to the hospital that night from the officers arresting me. Right. They gave the papers to the officers behind the desk. So, as they taking my name and doing my fingerprints, of course, I'm exhausted from it's two o'clock in Everything. the fucking morning. Like, well, and, and just go, go, sorry, stop here, right go back for a second. When you were pepper sprayed at the scene at, at, on Smith Street and put in the car and then pepper sprayed again, you, I think when we first met you said that you had some sort of reaction to the pepper spray. Yeah, I have asthma. You have asthma. So okay, all right. it was hard for me, you know. So th was that the reason why they sent they you to the hospital? They sent me to the hospital, yes. Okay. To do it because you were having some sort of yes, response and, to that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, from the pepper spray. Okay, thank you. I, go, keep going. So. You're you're in your you're you're at the little desk where they have everybody waiting to get book or you know put in cells yeah, yeah right, stuff like deal. that. So they're doing the, that. The cops gave the people the, the sheriffs behind the desk your paperwork. You wanted the paperwork. No. Oh no. I had. They went to fingerprint me. As yeah. they fingerprint me, they're asking me questions. Oh, what's your name? I'm giving them my name. Um, what's your address? Giving them my address. Oh, what did you just come from the hospital for? I said, sir, you have the papers from the hospital in your hand, correct? He like, oh yeah, but you been a smart ass. Okay, put her in the cell. So that means there's like, I'm not fully booked in the jail. Mm -hmm. So I went to jail on a Friday or Saturday morning, one, two o'clock in the morning, but they don't have me booked in the jail. No, you're not, you're not on paper at this point. No, Okay. but, um, um, okay, no, I don't know what to call it, but I had a court date the day before I went to jail. So I had a court date November 16th. And the day after that is the day that I got arrested mm -hmm. on the 17th. Okay. But in their records, I wasn't arrested yet because they didn't you book didn't me in. You didn't finish the whole process. Right, they didn't right, finish right. the booking process. Okay, okay. So now they throw me in this dirty ass cell. When I say dirty, it was filthy. Um, bloody pads in the um, toilet food all over the floor like it was filthy disgusting yeah um i stayed there till um the morning time so um I'm, 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 this is like sunday then no 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 it's, oh, this is uh, this is saturday 18th. saturday morning morning so it's yeah. like eight o'clock in the morning on the 18th okay yeah okay so then um I, I wake up or whatever because they left me in there no mad nothing they didn't come book me none of the above um i'm listening to you know the um pre-trial people you know knock on everybody's door and then i like i just so happen to you know wake up look up and i see this officer putting something on the door that i'm in, um, in the, on the cell that i'm in and the um, pre-trial people just, you know, walking past my door. And I'm wondering, like, why yeah. they're not coming there. What's going on? They're, they're letting you know like, what's up. Right. So um, then um, I'm, you know, confused, but I'm looking around, but I'm not seeing nothing. But then, you know, the people come for um, the court, the um, freaking... I don't know, lawyers or somebody. I don't know who the heck it was, but it was coming to, you know, check people, did their little rounds. When yeah. it came to pass out the food trays, they skipped my little door, they ain't nothing, I didn't get nothing. So, um, now I'm mad. I'm knocking on the window, like, okay, excuse me, like, what's going on? Like, why ain't nobody coming to see me? You know, everybody's ignoring me. So I sat back down. And then an officer came to the, uh, to my uh, cell door. It was like, Adams, you ready to be um, processed or whatever? I'm like, yeah, but are y'all gonna switch my cell because this is disgusting. Like, I gotta use the bathroom. They're like, oh. Well, so the toilet was plugged? You yeah, use like, I wouldn't know. Who would, ew, yeah. that is disgusting. Like, come on now. I mean, I know it's a gel, but it's filled with bloody pads. And well, you have a 
you should be getting a standard decency, dignity. Something, yeah, at least right. something that's at least sanitized, clean, yeah. clean it up. something. Yeah. Like right. it, when I, it was so, it was disgusting. It was filthy to the point where I couldn't use it because if I did, guess what? It's going to be backed up. And then I'm not about to put my body around nobody else's feces, blood, none of that. That's disgusting. Yeah. So um, the, the officer said, she said, um, something of the nature like, oh, you're a dog or something like that. Pee on your fucking self. Is that the third? I'm like, wow. Like, so you so one, be, of the, one of the deputies. One of the deputies said it. So I'm like, wow, like these people was fucking crazy. Like, what yeah. is it? Something like that. So I'm like, okay, wow. Sat back down, thought about it. And I'm thinking about it like, damn, how can I get out this dirty room without these, like, without, like, you know, trying to make it seem like I'm being aggressive or something like that towards them because they'll try to use anything right. to do something to somebody or try to make it seem like somebody's doing something to them. Right. So I'm thinking like, dang, okay, only way I can get out of here if I attempt to do some stuff that I know I shouldn't be doing, but I know I'm gonna get out this dirty ass cell. So boom, I'm thinking, oh, okay, I got my shoes on. Let me take a shoestring. I took a shoestring out. I put it around my neck, but I didn't like forcefully try to, you know, kill myself. I stood up. It was like, okay, so now y'all gonna switch me out of the cell, right? So the lady see me, you know, play with the string around my neck. She like, oh, oh, go ahead, kill yourself. Nobody give, nobody give a fuck about you anyways. I'm like, what? Oh shit, that ain't work either. Dang. Okay, forget it. Sat back down. As I'm sitting, sitting down, I'm dozing off now. Like, forget it, I'm trying, da da da. Yeah. I gotta pee. So I'm like, okay, pee on myself. Hell no, I'm not a dog. It's what fucking dogs do. Or pee in a nasty toilet. No, not doing that either. Or hey, they said I'm a dog, pee on the floor. I don't care, I peed on the floor. You did? You yeah, I really did. That's, that's awesome. So then I took the tissue or whatever. Yeah. Put it on the pee or whatever. Cleaned it yeah. up or whatever. Cleaned it up. Then after I got there, cleaned it up, I sat back down. So now I'm dozing off or whatever. Next thing you know, I hear somebody tapping on the door. Up, uh, get up. So I'm looking like, what? They opened the door, she opened it, well, it was her and a couple other officers, but they were standing outside of the door, yeah. she came in. This is Van Demar. Van Demar. Okay. Yeah. So, when she came in, she like, get up. And I'm like, um, oh, okay, I'm, 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 I'm gonna get up, that's fine. But, I, apparently, I wasn't getting up fast that's enough fine. for her, because when I went to, you know, get up, before I could even, like, stand on my own too, she started macing me. Soon as she started macing me, the other officers came in, grabbed me up. Of course, I'm maced. I can't see where the hell, what the hell, none of that. So I just spit because the shit got in my mouth. I closed, my eyes was closed, burning, of course, and I spit. When I spit, I don't know where the fuck it went. My eyes was closed. After that, all I know is they slammed me to the fucking ground. Um, um, it was a, a it was, I had, I don't remember. I just know it was like. Three or four male officers, Vandermeer, they um, put my arms around my back, um, cuffed me. Next thing you know, all I felt was foot, feet, hands, punches, Punch everything. They, yeah. oh, bitch, that's why you going to prison, kicking me on the face. Like, it was serious. Like, when I say serious, like, I never, ever, 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 ever in my life been through anything like this in my life. Ever, ever. When I say, like, Kicking, they got steel toe boots. They was kicking me in the face. I was down, cuffed like this. I couldn't move. They, oh, stop moving, bitch. Da, da, da. I couldn't. They kicking me in the ribs, like really, like stomping me out, like I was a piece of nothing. Yeah. And before they went to go put me in the little stupid chair or whatever, they put the little stupid bag on my little face. But I don't know what the hell they called it. The white bag, some white shit. Uh, hold, hold on, I've never heard of this before. You was, so you're being kicked and punched on the ground, and yes. then what happens? After they beat my ass, yeah. they put me in a chair yeah. uh, with my hands cuffed, strapped me down. They strapped you into the chair? Yeah, and rolled me to the, uh, what do you call that? I don't, I forgot what the fuck, what they call it. Um, like solitary confinement or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
they 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 strapped me in a chair and took me onto the to the little room. <laughs> and then then what happened? Um, they laid me down again. I'm not booked, so yeah. now I'm in this room. They stripped me out of my clothes, all my clothes, butt naked, no panties, no bra, none of the above, nothing. They stripped me, laid me on this stupid um mat, or whatever. I'm laying there. I think I laid there for like two or three hours. Are you still? Handcuffed no, 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 oh, I'm not no, handcuffed no. anymore. What was the bag? I'm sorry, I'm gonna go back. What I was guess, the bag thing? I guess it was for like people who spit and the police. I don't know what the fuck it was. It wasn't plastic. Though. No, 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 it was like... Like mesh, like uh, cotton like, or something like that? Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, um, but, and they put the bag in your head as they, they were put, transporting they you? Head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when they were transporting you from the, to the southern yeah. cell? Yeah. The, the solitary confinement? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And put a junk... Um, they, then they put me in the um, room. I laid there. I couldn't move. Like my body was just done. Like I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't even cry. Like it was sad. I laid there for probably like two or three hours. I don't know, but all I know is um, a corporal came in, a guy, and he came in with a nurse, and he was asking to um, take pictures of my face. And um, I was laying there, I couldn't do nothing. All I did was I let, I let him take pictures of my face. But in a sense, I was asking him, like, why is you taking pictures of my face? Because, you know, I'm gonna file some type of something because I didn't come in here like this. Mm -hmm. And they did this to me. And he said, no, I know. I was like, okay, I hope I can get those pictures. Did you get his name at all? Were you able to look under? No, no okay. I couldn't see. It's corporal. Okay. Yeah, but. I'm like, so now what I'm being charged with? Because, yeah, when, I'm, when am I going to court? Because I, I don't, I just want to get out of here. Like, I can't. Um, had the, um, the nurse, you know, was checking my face, trying to help me, you know, wipe my face off and stuff like that. And the man was telling me that I was going to be charged with assault for the police officer, um, disorderly conduct, some other stuff. But, from the initial arrest. Yeah, also, from from yeah. the RPE. 17th. Yeah, yeah from the yeah. RPD. And um, now for the 18th, um, the, that would have been the assault right. on a police officer. The spitting. Yeah, yeah. the spitting, yeah. Um, and after that, he was like, if I give them, you know, my blood so they get, you know, check in make sure i don't have any you know diseases or anything that the assault charge would be dropped i wouldn't be charged with anything as far as you know what happened so so you gave them some blood so i gave them my blood but then um i gave them my blood and the lady gave me some tylenol the nurse gave me some tylenol and i laid there for a couple of more hours you know and then the lady came back and was like, we need you to, you know, sign the consent for us taking your blood. I'm like, okay, whatever. Just jot it, whatever, down. I laid there uh, still till the next day, Sunday, the You're still, na you're still nude. You're I'm still, still naked. I'm still, still naked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do all of that. They asked me, do I want food? No, I don't want anything. Leave me that one. You know, yeah, no. just please. I couldn't do anything. I got up finally Sunday and... Cause I finally, you know, got I can get up, I can move. Look in the mirror, my eyes black, swollen, bad. Like mm -hmm. it was bad, bad. Like I still got scars in my face. I still got scars in my face mm -hmm. from like when they kicked me in my face. It was so bad, so so bad. I went to the um um after that, somebody came and got me. They had me handcuffed, shackled my feet. All of that. They give you a jumpsuit. Yeah, they give me a jumps, um, um, a oh. little outfit, or whatever, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Went and got fingerprinted. They took my picture again. Um, after that, I went back to the cell. They came and got me for court. Uh, I was released. Um, they didn't have like I, when I when I got there like. When I was arrested, they had my coat, but when I, you know, got out, I didn't have, you know, my coat. They didn't have my coat exactly like down there, so I just should walked home, no coat, beat up. <laughs> That's terrifying. 
only it's sad because like I really like the only part that really like got to me was like when the dude kicked me in the face and was telling me that I was going to prison. Like now you going to prison, bitch. Like what? What? Yeah. Officers though, y'all supposed to be protecting and serving. What part of the protecting and service is? Like I I've worked and I work, so that means I pay taxes that pay y'all. So. Right. I'm a taxpayer. This is what y'all do to taxpayers, people that pay y'all. What does justice look like? Not that. Like, it's sad because I don't, like, I have kids, but it's, it's scary because what is justice? Yeah. I'm asking you. I want to know, like, what, what and is I'm, And I'm asking. Because I don't know what it is either. Yeah. I get it. Like, where? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. And it's just sad because, again, I have kids. I went home Monday, that Monday morning, and my daughter asked me, like, what's wrong with my face and stuff like that because I didn't leave home like that. So I have to explain to her that the police beat your mother rap and she like what police po the police mm -hmm. what sense does that make mm -hmm. that don't make no sense i thought these people was supposed to protect mm -hmm. um, do you have any last comments you want to make about this experience or anything you want to tell people i want to tell them that that that's it's not right. It's not. A badge, a uniform, that shit shouldn't make nobody different from anybody. I've never been in a situation like that. And to be beat like that, like what? I didn't I didn't understand. Like I I, I questioned life at that point in time because like I didn't have nobody to help me. The help that was supposed to be help is the people that's doing this shit to me. So like, y'all not right, they not right. And then to try to turn around and put some shit on me. Like, come on, I can imagine how they do everybody. It, I can imagine how they do other people. And I, I don't want, I don't want my kids to, I don't even want to be here no more because of stuff like that. Because it seems like ever since then, it's like police, 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 police. I have case after case after case after that. And the shit is getting scary. I'm tired of it. But yeah, man, it's sad. And the shit make me sad, but I don't feel, I don't, I don't actually, I'm lying. I don't feel sad because sad is feeling weak and I don't feel weak. I feel I'm angry. And my tears is not tears of sadness. I'm mad because who are you to do that to somebody like that and to treat people like that? Like, come on now, I'm human just like you're human. You treated me less of a human. You beat me, you put me in a filthy cell. Mm -hmm. And this is what counts. This is how people. But they don't. They don't see how y'all go outside. Y'all put on y'all little stupid ass uniforms and put on your little stupid <coughs> ass badges and y'all go in there and come out here acting like y'all God. And that's not fair because at the end of the day, something can happen to you guys too. Not trying to make any threats, none of the above. Right. But still, you're human just like I'm a human. No no uniform, no badge should make you feel like you're holier than thou were. You know, that I just felt like they felt like I was anything. How do you think experiences like yours and other people's play into this idea of police community relations? Like, do you, do you feel like that's just a... This is why people don't call the police. Honestly. That's why they have street justice, because they do it too. Except for they do it in the jail. 
So, so just, what is that, jail justice? Yeah, there's just no trust. <laughs> and, like, why would there be when that shit happens to people? Talking about justice, liberty, and justice for all we're. Hmm. But I'm the one being judged by judges. Where's they, where the, who the fuck is gonna judge them? Seriously, though. Yeah. Because everybody gets judged. You, you, this is, this, I'm judging y'all, y'all fucking suck. Something, something gotta, so they gotta, they, they, need, they need to do better. Yeah. This shit is bad. And then they try to make it seem like People is the problem, you know? It was crazy. It's not them, it's somebody nah. else. Yeah, 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 they're the good guys. <laughs> but they're not, though. Yeah. It's crazy. I, I asked you for a last comment before. Do you want to make any other last comments? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Well, thank you so much for coming today and sharing your story. Actually, I do yeah. have another oh, comment. Please, please. You know what my comment is? Yeah. Enough is enough. <laughs> there you go. Absolutely. For real. Absolutely. It's been way too long. That's all I have to say. Great. Thank you so much.